Mowbray. It's been an incredible few days. An entire city and its people rejuvenated. A football club ready to be revived by the return of one man. Trying to keep it as low-key as he can, but now that Kevin Keegan is back in town, there'll be nothing understated about this place. With three players suspended and four out in Africa, Keegan's first problem was just trying to field 11 players today. Two changes from Wednesday's thumping of Stoke, as David Rosenahl comes in for the band Emre in an unfamiliar midfield role. And with Mark Viduka pulling up in training yesterday, Shola Amiobi, who's only just back from injury himself, well, he makes his first appearance since September. Yes, there is another team here today, and there are Bolton debuts for their two new signings this week. Icelandic defender Greta Steinson and Matt Taylor bought from Portsmouth as Gary Megson sets about spending the cash he received from the sale of Nicholas and Elka. Davis finds Danny Guthrie. Steinson. Michael Owen buzzing around, trying to close down quickly. It's Andy O'Brien with the hopeful punt downfield. This is Kevin Nolan. Turns away from Rosenau. And a shot fired in on Shea Gibbons goal. Comfortable enough save for the Newcastle keeper. And it's Bolton who are having the attempts. Nolan started the game really well. Who said he doesn't do tactics? McCann came off Rosenau. Rolled nicely through to Amiobi. Rosenau again spotting the chance to find Michael Owen. He was at full stretch. Now he needs a bit of help. Duff. Newcastle need the runners to arrive, or Duff can get a corner. He claims a little bit more than that, thought it was a handball, perhaps. Newcastle will settle for the corner. Great ball from Rosenau, just a little too much on it. And it's because of that that Newcastle are down this end of the field. And Zogby are in. Pretty clear by McCann. And then Gardner. Jose Enrique. Why not take a chance on the volley? Some days they fly in. So John Hall is here, just like old times at St James's Park. Duff. Amiobi. Jose Enrique behind him. Amiobi goes towards goal instead and blasts the ball off McCann to win Newcastle a corner. Rosenal, Taylor, and Kashapa get forward once more. Zogbia looks to find one of them. This is Kashapa. It was a miss kick. Shouts for a penalty. Newcastle feel it struck a Bolton arm. I don't think it was a convincing call. Shouts against Andy O'Brien. At first glance, it seemed to come off his thigh. Duff hangs back. Rosenal even deeper. Amiobi, now Milner, deflected off Andy O'Brien, Carr tries to get there, and it's just too far in front of Owen. Now Damien Duff, heading clear by Michalik. That, would you believe, is Newcastle's best moment of the game in front of the Bolton goal. They're not done yet, it's Enzogbia. Again too high for Owen, now Stephen Carr. And it's a wild blast into the Gallagher end. But it's something for the Newcastle supporters to get excited about. It's a shot on goal, however far wide it ended up. Free kick for Newcastle. And the OB being held, in Alan Wiley's opinion, and the decision is greeted by applause from the club owner, Mike Ashley. And Zogbia poised to strike left-footed. Milner is the other option. I think it's going to be all about Charles and Zogbia. Milner leaves it. And Zogbia's hit was curling, but not quickly enough. Didn't dip either. 
Eddie Keegan's final game as Man City boss three years ago was a 1-0 defeat at home to Bolton. The likes of Jaskalainen, Gardner, Nolan and Davis all played for Bolton in that game. And the referee, by a strange quirk of fate, was Alan Wiley. And Zogby through for Owen, it'll roll for Amiobi, and that's a great challenge from Gardner. The Newcastle fans scream for a penalty, Amiobi joins in with the calls. That was a terrific tackle from Ricardo Gardner. Had to make it, and got there. Milner. Still no real threat for Bolton, though. Milner tries to change that, he's got Jaskalainen struggling. Wonderful cross. James Milner sold the dummy to McCann at first, and then gave Jaskalainen in a real skirt. The shout of Keegan goes up around the entire stadium. Anybody's game, this. Bolton perhaps shaded the first half, Newcastle have been the better team in the second. And Lubomir Michalik is down now, and claiming that he's... Taking a blow to the face, courtesy of a Newcastle elbow. Davis backs up that claim. Well, he did get the point of Amiobi's arm right in his cheekbone. You can see the damage done by Amiobi's arm. Up goes Amiobi with Michalik again, and the Slovakian's gone down as if elbowed again. Well, it's a repeat. And now Alan Wiley stops the play again. But again, the leap from Amiobi with his arm raised across into the uh, side of Michalik's face. Alan Wiley, you can see, has got a clear view of it. Davis and has support too behind, but he's not keen to find a teammate. He just wants to keep it in the corner and win one. Michalik hooks it in, still a chance, and saved by Given as Samuel tried to blast it through. Might just have preserved a point for Newcastle. And stopped them crashing to a fifth successive Premier League defeat. A frustrating first day back in the office. Goalless at St James's Park. Well, in many ways, the match was always going to be something of a sideshow today. The Newcastle public came out in force to watch the coronation of their returning king.